Yeah, Ryan, as always, we have a busy weekend for Hawkeye Sports. Kick me off with Iowa football having their practice in Des Moines tonight. And Iowa baseball travels down to Evanston to see if they can keep their win streak going against the Wildcats. This weekend, the track team will be competing at the Jim Click Shootout at the University of Arizona. One Hawkeye who is sure to make an impact is sophomore discus thrower Reno Tafuli. Sophomore Reno Tafuli is coming off being named Big Ten Field Athlete of the Week after posting a top five time nationally. During the indoor season, Reno led the team in shot put and weight throw. In the shot put event, Reno scored the third best distance in Iowa history. However, Reno is looking to improve from indoor and have a strong transition to the outdoor season. Indoor went well, started off slow, but you know, I got fourth in the Big Ten, so that's not bad. Outdoor started off pretty good, had a good mark in discus, number one for about a week. I think I'm about four now, but hopefully after this weekend I'll be back on top. In order for Reno to take back the top mark nationally, he says it'll all come down to how he practices. He is just, I've been practicing well this week and last week didn't have a meet, so I've had extra time to practice, just got to remember what I need to do, got to feel it when I'm on Saturday morning when I have to throw, just got to remember what I need to do, get in the zone, and just put everything I have into it. Reno's ranking nationally has since fallen to 21st, with his teammate Avery Myers taking the 15th spot. Reno will rely on sticking to his routine to get back on top. My practice is pretty heavy over here, so it's just, it's just consistency and keep practicing and keep lifting and stick to it. You can catch Reno and the rest of the Hawkeyes compete in Iowa's only home outdoor meet of the season April 22nd. Reporting from outside the track field, this has been Lucy Rodine, Daily Iowan TV Sports. Reno improved his mark to the fifth best in Iowa history last weekend at the University of Florida Relays. Moving on to Iowa football, we have more NFL prospect interviews. First up, reporter Mary Kate Herrian sat down with former Iowa quarterback C.J. Beathard about his journey to the draft. You guys, I'm here with former Iowa quarterback C.J. Beathard, so thank you for being here. And then you redshirted, um, obviously, your freshman year. So what did that do for you as a quarterback that helped you in the future? Uh, yeah, I think it was great. Uh, it was a big part of my progression, uh, becoming uh, you know, a better quarterback, because we had a, a senior quarterback at the time and James Vandenberg, and, and he was you know really good at what he did. He, he knew the offense in and out and really helped me progress as a player and as a quarterback and, and taught me a lot. Um, and then obviously after that, it was open for competition the next couple of years, kind of battled in and out. It was frustrating at times because you know, I felt like I was a better quarterback and I knew that. Um, but I just knew if I kept working and, and kept chipping away at it, the, the right thing would happen. It would all work out and, and it did and I ended up you know, starting for junior and senior year and uh, ended up being great. And on your senior season, what did that end up um, teaching you um, quarterback wise then going into preparing now for the draft? Yeah, it taught me a lot. Uh, it taught me how to handle the ups and downs of uh, football and, and life in general. I mean, it was a tough season. There was a lot of times where you can look back and, and uh, you know, be frustrated and, and stressed out. But uh, you really learn, you know, it's easy to, to be on top and be a leader when, when everything's going easy, when you are 12-0. and 0. It's about how do you come back and how do you handle situations when, when they're not going to plan and, and not going as, as perfect as you expected them to go. So I think uh, you know, those seniors, uh, we, we kind of grab, grab the reins and, and uh, steer the season right towards the end. And um, I think uh, you, you learned a lot about, about ourselves and as a team that year. Yep. That is all we have for you. So okay. thank you for being here no and um, good luck with everything in the future. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. Thanks thank for you. having me. Katie Sexler sat down with top prospect Desmond King, who is expected to be a top pick in the NFL draft. We will continue with our NFL prospect interviews next week. Now tune in on Monday for more on Iowa football's trip down to Des Moines. And a recap from Iowa women's soccer as they get back on the field this weekend. Brian, back to you.